you wash your hands? I did wash my hands. I should not have to say that, but you know what? What's this go to? That's to clean my lens. Oh, for your picture snapping? Can I put on music? Mm-hmm. For my picture snapping. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, I can't be in it. So if I walk in, you can cut it out. Yes. We're going to make tomatoes in the hole, which is like a tomato deep dish with a Yorkshire pudding dough. 400. Okay. Those herbs, the rosemary, and thyme, and the flour. And that's all. Today, you know. Um, Mom, I meant fresh herbs. Oh, no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Of course. You don't I cook that herbs. Cook with dry herbs. What, what, you don't even buy them? No, they're like cardboard. Oh, Mom, this is a tragedy. This is a real tragedy. Oh, Should we make some? I mean, we can't make anything. Uh, We've already committed. I've got this so interesting thing. Oh my God! You can just throw in random spice mixes. Well, I never buy. I mean, very rarely. Well, that's why I said, are stuff. you sure you have rosemary and thyme? You have a tiny bit of dried up brittle rosemary. You chop everything fresh, everything. So when you, what will you do in your video? You have to lay it in the thing and pretend that you're chopping. No, we'll have to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my mother's house and she's not a good cook. Dried rosemary, don't buy it. It's a sham. All right, well. What about this? Smell it. Mom, it's a mix. That's not the flavor profile, for one thing. Pineapple sage. What is this crap? <laughs> is that pineapple sage too? What does pineapple sage mean? Well, smell it. Oh, yeah. Smell it. How can I have two pineapple sage? I have cilantro. So, you don't buy any of this stuff? No. You have none of this in your cupboard? Not a one. Because they don't taste like anything. So every There's time no point in buying I them. put every time you go to the grocery store to make something, what if they don't have fresh herbs? They almost never do. Of course they have fresh herbs. I, you can ne almost never find stuff. Oh, I don't like that. that I was have a basil. I have some Italian stuff. The red pepper, the basil. I blew, I blew it. Cumin. That really tastes good. Smell it. Cumin is a spice, oh. but rosemary is a, is a leaf, and so dried up rosemary. It's like dried flowers versus fresh, and smell. Oh, is curry smell. okay? Yeah, curry. We we have spices, but dried what about sage? herbs is nothing. What about sage? It's a, or if it's supposed to be green, don't buy it brown. <laughs> 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 Rule of thumb. All right, well, I, I guess we have to work with what we've got. Tuscan blend. I hate this. Well, here, look at some of these <laughs> possibilities. <laughs> um. This is so sad. <laughs> Yeah, they don't hold up that way. Like only on like a Pizza Hut pizza garnish. <laughs> it's not anything. Oh my god. It's okay. All right, we're gonna just have tomatoes and dough with dried dried leaves. <laughs> it's like catnip. This is like basically just catnip. Oh my god. Okay. Um. 
flour. We have flour, right? Real <laughs> I think I'm not gonna trust you anymore to inventory your own kitchen. <laughs> Don't tell me it's some like quick rise stuff. It's, it's just normal flour. I think it's normal flour. Right. We're just, it's, yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Cup measures do you have? Yes. Okay. We have a few things. That's perfect. All right. Maybe my cookie would be better if I. Oh, yes, it would. It would. You know, now that I think about it, the first time I made Sia's recipe, uh huh. And I said, I was talking to her and I said, can I just use dried basil? And she said, no, you have to have fresh basil. And I said, I don't have it. Can I just use the dry? She goes, don't make it. <laughs> if you don't have fresh basil, don't make it, she said. Yeah, she's, she's right. Are you going to make a joke about it? <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I kind of know you are. I know you are. Viewers, subscribers, am I an herb snob? Am I being way too hard on my mother? I'm not like a real cook. I would just assume that fresh would always be better. Yeah, I don't know. What are the schools of thought? Are these different schools of thought? Do you buy dry herbs? Do you rehydrate your dry herbs in the bottom? Do you always use fresh if you can? Do you cut it out? If you only have, I don't know. Anyway, please let me know. Maybe this is a weird hang up I have and I don't really know. Anyway, we may never know. We may never know. I've been using a blender, muddler to roll out pie dough. It works pretty well. It is midnight. I am downloading my video for tomorrow. It's Thursday night. And then gonna upload it. But suddenly, I just got terrible chills and aches. And I had the second COVID vaccine today. And I think it's hit me. And I'm really glad this video is done. And I hope you like it. Because I finished it in the nick of time. Because I'm degenerating now. <laughs> I hope. I think it's okay. I think it's good. But I hope I'm not delusional. Time will tell. Ugh. This is terrible. I'm so glad I never got COVID. IRL. This is the next worst thing. Time is so slow. So slow. So COVID hit me real bad but in my COVID vaccine convalescence, this is where the cat has taken up residence. Oh, hi. Don't leave me, Velvet. Do you like fabric like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is so cute.
little did we know as we sat here for a refreshing beer that we were going home to no water. Yesterday, we lost water. There's no water in our taps. There was lightning or something that struck the tank. So I'm gonna try and wash my face and brush my teeth. With this gallon here. I think my coffee may still taste like toothpaste. Anyway, good morning. Hey, oh, look at Velvet. Oh, Velvet. Do you feel it? She thinks it's really cool. Oh. Are you paying attention? I've been reading nightly here. Not that that's special, but I'm reading East of Eden and I thought that my first trip to the US in so long merited a grand American epic story. So it's really good actually. I'd never read it before. I'm an English major, formerly, so there's that, but there's kind of nothing more fun than a really sprawling book of fiction, I think. I'm in part three of four. It is Tuesday, July, whatever, after the fourth. Anyway... <clears throat> I guess good night. to go to dinner. Check this out. This is a cartouche from Egypt in like the 70s that my mom got there on a trip. It supposedly says her name in hieroglyphics. We may never know what it actually says as far as I can tell. It says lion, feather, water, hand, hawk. I guess that means Linda, but it's pretty cool, huh? I just want to address something because as I'm editing my video, it's just glaringly a white elephant. And that is, I am deeply aware of how terrible my face looks. It's a sensitive subject for us, for my skin and for me inside. So I won't go into detail, but just know that both the UK and US healthcare systems are on it. Anyway. Ready for dinner. Thrift haul. Be prepared to see these things in a lot of my videos. This is not a thrift haul. This is a birthday gift. And in London, it's still in season.
Too much red and ruffles. I like what I like. These are alligators. Because I'm a native Floridian. And there we are, all of our travails this week. These weeks have been an adventure and a respite from rainy London. But next time we see each other, I shall be back there. <laughs>